just want to show you my digi tool with a wooden handle connected with a line to the floater so I can use this as a shovel but also as a uh, marker on the bottom so I find a target uh, stick it on the bottom and the floater will signal me where the target is. Hey, okay, let's go!
Hi guys, I just finished this five hours dive. It was it was cold but very fun, very very funny. And uh, I was very excited of being hunting here because I did some research and this bay has been used by the British as a naval base for many years during the colonic era, so in the 17th and 1800s. And I was hoping to find some well, what I hoped to find was uh, stuff dropped from the boats. They used to um, move things around all the time on the boats. And so I was hoping to find, okay, yeah, the treasure hunter's dream, a gold coin. But uh, I didn't find it. Uh, and so, since I want to um, come here again, I will keep this location secret for the moment. So, stop watching watch the finds. Um, I put them in order of, um, of how far I found them from the shore. So starting from this ring, this is a square nail used for something which I can't imagine anything else. I don't know, it looks like a rivet made of brass. Uh, maybe it used to hold together some leather, but I'm not sure. This is a door hinge. This is a very old copper ring with a sim with a symbol of France. This is the okay French ring, uh, silver ring. Um, this is the the place where you put the row, and you then you row with a. This is the leverage point of the row. I don't know how to tell it in term, mar maritime correct terms in English and even in Italian actually. This I don't know what it is. This is a spoon. Maybe fell from a boat. I think it fell from a boat a long time ago. It looks old. It's not silver anyway. And uh, this other square nail. Um, these items were all found around 100 meters from the shore because this uh, it was very far from the shore. But this area doesn't sink. Doesn't uh, the bottom doesn't uh, get deep quickly. So it was still all around uh, from 10 and 15 feet deep, these items. And then I found this, I got very excited, because I thought that it could have been an old uh, statue. But it's not, because it's made of lead, and it's like a horse, a, ho a man riding a, a galloping horse made of lead, and someone bent the legs back before throwing it in the water. Maybe they threw it in the water because the guy lost the head, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe yes. Interesting, anyway. Um, I was excited because I thought that it was made of silver, but no, it's leather. Uh, it's um, le lead. So I wasn't excited anymore. Anyway, it's a heavy metal. Good. Um, then, uh, going back towards the shore, I found this, which is a little gold medal with a dog that has a papillon. Something made with such a bad taste can be ancient. So uh, good because it's gold, but not historical. This is a Buddhist medal. Some old coins, one of them dated 1933. And then right next to the medal, I found this uh, bullet shot, I think from a gun, uh, from a pistol, a heavy caliber pistol. I have no idea though. And then many, many old uh, coins going back toward the shore. This is all around uh, 50 meters from the shore. There are these coins, nothing else. And um, yeah, near the shore, all this modern trash. So the nearer you get to the shore, the worse is it gets. But uh, in the beginning it was quite good. I, I'm very happy and uh, I hope to see you the next time with the you know, the gold coin. Well, uh, it's years I've been looking for it and never yet found it, so I just keep going.